Hello and welcome to another tutorial on Power BI. Imagine you are building a team of analysts. Being the team lead, you want to centralize the access of all data sources and dedicate the access right individually to your analyst so that they can reuse tables or queries across multiple Power BI files. You also want to schedule refresh for extract, transform and load process at different time for every query or table. What do you think? Is it possible in Power BI? Yes, Dataflows will help you to achieve it. Dataflow is a Power Query process that runs in the cloud independently from any Power BI repo. It stores the data in the Azure Data Lake storage. Let's start the video and set up the Dataflow for our project. Developing or editing data flows is possible through the Power BI service, not the Power BI desktop. Therefore, to set up data flows, you need Power BI Pro account, which you can create only from your work email address. If you don't have a work email address, then you can sign up for Office 365. Once you sign up, you will get an email address that looks like this, ending on dot on microsoft.com use this email address to sign up for power bi pro account you will also get 60 days free trial period once you have signed in into power bi pro account then we have to create workspace to create the workspace click on this workspace in the left side panel you will have the option to create a workspace click on it name the workspace and save. Your workspace is created for you. Last and the third step is to install Gateway. Gateway creates a bridge that connects your Power BI cloud-based data analysis technology and the data sources located on your premises. To download Gateways, click on the ellipsis button on the top right of your Power BI service account. Download and click on Data Gateway. You will be navigated to a link. From this link, you need to download Standard Mode Gateway. You can also read the difference between Standard Mode and Personal Mode by scroll down on the same link. Once you download and set up the gateway, you will have this screen showing that your gateway is online and ready to use. So in this tutorial, I am going to use two separate screens. One for the TL account shown by this gray screen. Another is the black screen shown for analyst. We are going to start creating the data flow in the TL screen. To create the data flow, click on the workspace, team data flow that we have recently created. Click on new and here you will find data flow option. It will ask you how you would like to create your data flow. In this tutorial, we are going to use add new tables option. You will get the connectors. Just like we get in Power Query Desktop, we are going to use a blank query connector. We will choose the gateway. Next, delete the initial query, right click and delete. I have already performed some ETL on our project in Power BI Desktop. We can see and in the Power Query, we have the queries. I will select all queries, shift and select all queries, right click, copy. In the TL data flow, I will paste it. Ctrl V to paste. Once your query are pasted, it will be loaded and read in the data flow environment. Wait for it. So now we have received a configure connection error. Don't worry about it. Just click on the configure connection. Authentication type is organization account. That is my Power BI account. And just click sign in. Connect. Just like we have connected this query, we have to connect all other queries. So select the queries, save and close. Name your data flow and refresh now. Back to workspace and now we are going to provide access to our analyst. By clicking on this access button, type email address of our analyst, configure the access type. I'm providing access of contributor to my analyst and add close 
We have performed this complete task in the team leader environment. Let's check out the impact on the analyst environment. So right now in the analyst account, let's go to workspace, refresh. We can see analyst has received the access of team data flow workspace. Now we are going to access this team data flow in Power BI desktop. So we are back in the Power BI desktop and we are signing as the analyst. We can see from the sign in information to get the access of team data flow. Go to get data and here we can find the connector Power BI data flow. Click. Here we can find teams data flow workspace, team data flow. And we can select all the tables or selected tables for our project. This task will be performed by analyst, not by the TL. TL job was to just perform the ETL, create a centralized depository for the data sources, provide the access to the analyst. And now analyst will perform the task according to their job role. We are back in the TL account where we initially create the data flow. Now to create the schedule refresh for our data flow, hover your mouse on the data flow name, click on this ellipsis for more option and select settings. In the data flow, you will find this schedule refresh option, click on it, change off to on, select your refresh frequency, select your time zone and you can select 8 different intervals for schedule refresh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In case schedule refresh fail, you can also provide contact details by selecting data flow owner or selecting this contact and provide the email address. If you find this tutorial helpful, make sure you let me know by leaving a comment and a thumbs up below. You can also give your suggestion for future videos in comments. See you in next tutorial.